Dr. Sears and her colleagues at Scott and White deserve enormous credit for coming up with this. Um, gastroenterologists certainly do plenty of screening colonoscopy, and they took advantage of the demographics of the hepatitis C epidemic, which is that the vast majority of these individuals are baby boomers who perhaps uh, partook, as um, Mitch said earlier, in risk factors two to three decades ago, and henceforth moved on, perhaps not recognizing they picked up viral infections. And with that, approximately 3, 4, 70, 75 percent of individuals with chronic hepatitis C may not yet be identified. And again, um, Dr. Shipman, Mitch already described that he had patients with acute icteric symptomatic hepatitis C. Unfortunately, the vast majority of individuals who get chronic hepatitis C infection are asymptomatic. And hence, what happens is that essentially perhaps 30 years ago, uh, somebody uh, does something maybe that doesn't show optimal judgment, uh, and then uh, with no signs or symptoms, they move on. And they don't remember and don't recognize that they've accidentally picked up uh, the most common bloodborne infection in the United States. So what the Scott and White clinic investigators that uh, Dr. Sears led did was that they took advantage in a three-month period in those individuals who presented for screening colonoscopy, which is now recommended above the age of 50, between ages 50 and 65, they asked individuals to consent for routine um, hepatitis C testing. And uh, the uptake in 500 consecutive patients was quite high. 75% of individuals uh, agreed to participate in these individuals, of which a third, when they described risk factors, uh, which we can go into, um, actually had um, risk factors. So a third of individuals just presenting for screening colonoscopy. In their cohort, we can go through these, uh, we can talk about high-risk sexual activity and tattoo placement before 2000, which they identified as the most common risk factors, followed by injecting or snorting uh, drugs. And then um, finally, uh, there were HIV or hemophilia, where they would have um, concomitant risk factors or blood contaminated factor, which was a very uncommon uh, risk factor. There were some individuals who already had previous hepatitis C, but there were four new cases that were diagnosed in, uh, with uh, positive anti-HCV antibody, and all these individuals went on uh, to consent to HCV RNA testing. And so what they authors concluded was that individuals who present for screening colonoscopy, and we're all busy in the office, you had mentioned primary care providers, you know, we, we all agree primary care providers need to screen for liver disease, but your primary care providers in 20 minutes need to screen for virtually everything. And so that as gastroenterologists, this might be an opportunity for um, us as a group of individuals to offer a targeted screening uh, to individuals where, as um, Fred and Mitch have both said, you know, we, you can treat hepatitis C now very effectively, and we have a chance to reduce morbidity and mortality due to chronic hepatitis C dramatically, and this might represent a, a model, particularly as the Scott and White investigators say, if you apply this to areas that are demographic populations that are particularly higher risk, this might be a very effective strategy that we could use in a captured population to make a major dent in the majority of individuals that have chronic hepatitis C.